Hi, stamping fans. It's Laura Zaraza with laurazstamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today we're going to create this cute uh, birthday tag that can be attached to a plain bag. Um, we're going to use some of our plain brown bags here. And we're going to get started doing this. This is something really quite new for me. Um, occasionally I do videos on YouTube and I'm a bit behind on it and so of course this new technology came up and I thought well why not I'm gonna try it. So I hope you get a kick out of all this and I'm, I'm gonna try we'll see how this goes. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to post it right there. Okay. Oh, we're going to see how this works here. I'm just trying to see if I can get visual on my iPad here. Nothing yet. I'm going to try it again just to see what I'm getting on my iPad. Like I said, this is something new here. Let's see if this will work. And it's not, so we may have to try this again. Oh, that's all right. Um, if anybody's watching, great. I won't be able to see you. Um, so I apologize ahead of time. All right, here we go. So we're going to create this little guy right here. And we're using a new stamp set. This is Celebration, one of the items for free with a $50 order right now. And it's called Party Pants. Get your party pants on. <laughs> kind of a cute set. And I'm liking it. And we're going to use... One of our clear mount blocks. Uh, this one is C for the balloon. And as you can see, the reason why it's called clear mount is because you can see through the mount as opposed to a wood stamp. Um, I don't have an example right in front of me at the moment, but you can see around it. So that's why it's called clear mount. So we're going to use that one. Let's see. We're going to use, whoop, pardon me, it's called live TV. Okay, um, happy birthday to you is what I'm going to use. So we're going to use that one. I'm going to put him off to the side here. I'm going to use a strip here. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to use, I already used the die cuts circle die cuts these guys right here with my big shot and I'm using <coughs> Ooh, pardon me excuse me I'm using the let's see one two one two three third and fourth of the circles so I use a piece of whisper white a piece of melon mambo And on some scrap paper, I'm going to stamp the colors Mint Macaron, Hello Honey, and Melon Mambo. So we're going to get our pieces out of the way here. I'm going to put my spray here ahead of time for cleaning up. kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. Let's see. Okay. All right. We're going to stamp 
no one mambo. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the big guy right here. And I'm going to do it again because I've got something stuck there. Okay, there we got that guy going. And clean him off. Close him up. Do a hello, honey. Make sure it's all clean there. Hmm, getting some little pieces of something here. We'll do it again. Let's see. Nice. All right. So we're cleaning that off. And then we're going to do the green. And then I have a piece extra sitting here. And let's see here. All right. I like it. Looking good to me. So now I'm going to punch these guys out. This is our new awesome balloon punch. Loving this. So I'm going to use the smaller one. And I'm just going to trim him out. Punch out the big pink one. Okay, and we'll punch out the yellow one. Okay. All right, put that off to the side there. So we have that, three balloons. Okay. So we'll get my pieces together here. Now, I'm going to work with the banner punch. And this is nice because you have uh, two inches, and I think an inch and a half, and an inch. So you want to make sure your papers are just slightly smaller than when you put it through. So for this one, I have a little glitch on here, so I'm going to use that one and poke it through. And it's two inches. Poke it all the way through. And there is my banner. So that works. Now when you use the, um, the paper when it's decorated and you want the bottom part, you got to make sure it's going the right way. If it's got a pattern like this, it won't matter. But if you have something going a particular way, you want to make sure that you know which way you're putting in to the bottom part of your piece. So I know my candles are facing up this way, so I know that this is going to be the bottom. So I go ahead and place this in here. And there's my banner piece. And actually this is an inch and a half so actually it's a little more than two inches, inch and a half. Okay, so that works really well. And we have, I'm just gonna stick these two together. So I'm gonna add some snail tape, otherwise something I finally call booger maker tape. I know it's bizarre. <laughs> I'm sure Stampin' Up! is just thrilled when I say that. I call it that because if you go too fast, you get stamping boogers. You don't want to do that. So in this case, I just want to add just enough right here where I'm attaching it to. And just place it on there. And you can, I'm using grid paper, which we sell. It's nice to be able to line things up just right. Okay, so there we go, right there. And now I have my place uh, piece of white cardstock that I've already cut out. 
and I'm going to use my, I'm going to use the happy birthday to you. So we'll use that one first. And I'm going to use the new archival basic black. I always like to stamp it first to make sure I've got good coverage. And I'm placing it all the way to the right. And I'm happy with that. So that looks good. And now I'm going to add my little balloon string. So I just go ahead and place it on here. I'm going to add a little one, and then I'm going to have, whoop, this time I'm going to make it curve, so I flip it over. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm just going to clean everything off. Things are bouncing in here, I'll tell you. Okay, now we're going to use some dimensionals. I'm going to dig out. One of these days for one of my videos, I'll have to show you guys my room. I haven't even done that on my blog, so that, that'll be pretty good. All right, so we're going to take some dimensionals, add, a little, add them to pop up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to add, place this down right away. onto my pink cardstock. Whoops. Make sure it's centered pretty good. All right. And now my pink one I'm going to put down first. A little bit like that. Okay. And then I'll have my yellow one. And you can add more dimensionals to the back. I just choose to keep it simple and just do one. And then I'm going to have it like that. Okay. And then the smaller one. Okay. So looking good. Coming together. Okay. And now I'm going to add dimensionals on top of my banner part as well. So this one, I'm going to add right to the paper, or the banner here, and let's see, because I want to see where it places, and then I'm going to add another one over here into the cardstock. Got to be careful, sometimes these things walk with you. <laughs> sometimes you'll have them attached to you and don't even realize it. I've gotten up from many a project and have taken them for many miles. <laughs> All right, so I'll just move my little garbage off to the side here. Okay, I like how it's looking. And I'm just going to, I could have it sit up top, could I have off to the side. I'm just going to have a little bit like that. So there we are, showing you how it looks. All right, now. I'm adding a gel pen to it because I want to give it a little interest as I've done right here. So I just want to make the balloons a little shiny. So we're going to add that little bit of white to it. And so I make sure my gel pen is working here. And just go ahead and add a little bit. And there we go. And we'll let that dry. And that's how that works right there. So that looks not too shabby if I do say so myself. All right. Now I'm attaching it to one of our bags. And this is the Craft Tag -a Bag gift bags. And you get a set of 10. And I'm just going to use this guy right here. And rather than just sticking it on the bag, I want someone to be able to use this again if they wish. Um, it's kind of a cute keepsake, and it's great if you want to um, put it as a keepsake in your scrapbooks. 
or just something you want to tuck away and maybe like I said reuse it again so I'm going to use um, these little guys these are our clothespins the metallic minis and I'm using uh, this time I'm going to use silver I used gold over here so now we're going to go with the silver so just place that on there oops there you go right there hope you like not too shabby all right so there we are now I'm going to add a little bit of the silver trim and I'm going to cut off a piece here sometimes I get a little extra and I'll use it as sometimes attach extra pieces with glue this time I'm not and I want to show a really cool idea with keeping this from losing all the little silver pieces a uh, piece of cardstock here let me just place this off to the side just some scrap I take some of our uh, multi mono uh, multi liquid glue um, and I just take this pull off one off the other side and I add a little bit of glue and I just take it and touch it right to the quarter string on both sides there we go and I let it dry um, because uh, you never know you want this to dry for a little bit before you attach otherwise it may stick so we're just going to let it um, put this off to the side and just for the sake of doing it again just to show you oops there we are put our glue away and attach turn it around there we go so now you've attached your piece like that so it's pretty cool right in this case nothing's coordinating right here <laughs> okay there we go so it sits like that so you have your tag that you can use again which is kind of cool and I hope you like it um, this is kind of a cool little idea that you can again reuse and for the gold one that I used earlier I wanted to quick show you that I had added in this particular one along in the stamp set there's some little hex hexagon guys in here uh, stamp and so I just made some note cards just made four of them and you could put you could add envelopes to it as well and it would make for a really great gift idea to place in the bag so this one has the gold in it I said the gold on the one side and the colors I kept were Hello Honey, Mint Macaron, and Melon Mambo. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my impromptu type of class today of just showing you how to create something fun and interesting, quick and simple. And I hope you'll try it as well. Hope you'll visit me on my blog, laurazstamps.com. And I'm just going to switch around here. And you can see me again and I'm in my office here down in my basement in Lake Geneva Wisconsin and just creating some really fun ideas for you as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator so thanks for visiting me and I hope to see you again soon so thanks again <music>